Botswana is often referred to as one of the jewels of Africa. Certainly it's one of the Earth's last true wilderness areas. Few countries have the abundance of wildlife enjoyed by Botswana, and the people of this country are lucky to be endowed with something so very special, a wonderful and amazing natural resource which we must preserve for future generations. It's the responsibility of all of us to ensure the conservation of Botswana's rich wildlife. This includes predators, as these animals are an important sign of a healthy habitat and fulfill an important function in ensuring harmony and balance. However, as the world's demand for beef grows, so does Botswana's commercial cattle operations. And more farms, more livestock and less traditional management means increasing conflict with wildlife. We Botswana have lived with wildlife for thousands of years. Yet, it's now becoming more difficult as traditional ways are dying out. We're quickly losing our wildlife and our culture. It doesn't have to be this way. We'd like to tell you the story of two farmers. The first is a traditional farmer, Ramusi, who uses effective methods of livestock management. And a new commercial farmer, Ra Tebi, who does very little in the way of management. The story shows how prevention is better than cure. Effective methods of livestock management can make it possible to live in harmony with Botswana's wildlife. We begin at Ramusi's cattle post. Where he lives, there are many wildlife species, including predators. He doesn't use lethal methods of predator control, as he knows that predators are essential to the balance of nature, and he values Botswana's wildlife and heritage. To ensure the safety of his family's livestock, he uses traditional methods such as crawling, herding and guard dogs, demonstrating that it is possible to live together in peace with predators. <laughs> He checks the cows. They've been crawled during the night close to the homestead. He also checks the goats. In the crawl, he feeds the dog which guards his livestock. It's the end of the day, and Musi has been herding the small stock throughout the day. He brings them back to the crawl to spend the night. He counts them and checks their health and condition for his records.
He does daily maintenance of the crawl to ensure the thorn barrier is effective and that there are no gaps that predators could break through during the night. Through this careful management of his livestock and lands, Ramusi lives responsibly and doesn't come into conflict with predators. By his actions, he preserves both wildlife and culture. Traditionally, mill times are an important part of the day. A time to share stories, experiences and wisdom. Strong family ties have always been an essential part of life among Botswana and we all need to uphold this powerful bond to create strong communities and respect for each other. Moosey returns from the cruels after securing the livestock for the night. Moosey gives his family an update on the welfare of the livestock. Hygiene is an important part of life as you can see from the washing of hands before meals, although water is a sparse commodity in places. The food is all from the farm. There's no processed food at all. <laughs> it's customary in Setswana culture for jokes and riddles to provide entertainment during meals. Now we see the other side of farming, which happens more and more these days. All Botswana citizens have the right to land. Ratebi has decided to set up a commercial ranch to farm cattle and has arrived to have his land allocated by the land board officer. 
He works in town and doesn't plan to be on the farm every day. His farm will be managed by paid workers. However, he doesn't have a great relationship with them, so will they do a good job for him? Let's see. Despite warnings about stealing land, Ratebi orders a reluctant stober to move the boundary outwards in order to increase the size of the plot. <laughs> Rad Tebi is failing to consider the welfare of his farm workers and he's not organized effective livestock management on his farm. Therefore, things are not running well. The farm workers are unhappy, animals have died of disease, some young have been born, but there are no records being kept, no herding and no crawling. The livestock is vulnerable in the veldt. Predators have taken advantage of this situation. It's so easy for them to catch a meal. The farm workers have finally noticed that some of the livestock are missing, but they resent Ratebi and don't put much effort into looking for the missing animals. Stober asks for a ride to go to the dance that evening. He's not concerned about abandoning the livestock despite the missing goat. Ratebi realizes some livestock is missing. He angrily confronts Stoba, who can offer nothing but ridiculous excuses. Ratebi is pleased to see that the workers have found tracks which they think are those of a predator. They follow the tracks to where they find the carcass of a goat. 
They're certain that the goat was killed by a predator. Nartebi is angry with his employees for being so careless. Ratebi is so furious that he rushes to the wildlife office to make a complaint. Acting irresponsibly, he charges back to his farm, determined to kill any predators he can using the quickest way possible. The workers are afraid. He orders a sick donkey to be killed and used as poisoned bait to kill the predators. Now he will suffer the consequences of his short-sighted actions. It's been reported that many predators were found dead on Ratebi's farm. The wildlife officer takes action. The wildlife officer informs Ratebi that he's being investigated. At first, Ratebi is his usual pompous self, but later he becomes more humble as he realizes the seriousness of the case against him. Another side effect of his actions has been the poisoning of the borehole on his farm. The soil and water can't be used and the land is condemned by the agriculture officer. Ratebi is devastated. This man got a big problem. I don't know what he's going to do when he had his land is destroyed by this chemical. Dumelara. Eventually, he realizes what he's done and decides that he needs to learn how to be a responsible farmer, such as utilizing effective farming techniques and working with conservation groups. We can see what happens if land is not managed responsibly we will all suffer along with the wildlife. Let us all work together to conserve our wildlife, environment and culture for future generations. To look after everything that is the spirit of the Kalahari. Ms. White is an international conservationist working for Cheetah Conservation Botswana. This organization works with communities to promote coexistence with wildlife.
nna ke bidu a re thabang ke itumela go bolitsi le motsatsi la go mpeno mo thotyo se ka dipuisanyo ya rona re tswa ko lekana la chita conservation botswana Tabang, the organization's community conservation officer, is at a meeting demonstrating methods that can assist communities to live with predators. Go na le dingwe tso tshwantse gore o di lebelele ka thamallo. Go netefatsa sente kana go rurifatsa gore a me se batana so se berela ke sone se se. He begins by explaining the importance of the correct identification of predators. Ha o ka lebella o ithala le gore le ke langwe. Ya no me ha o le ba le le la lenga o le o ithalo le le sesane ene le le ka le le likima. Abe <laughs> He explains that each species of predator has its own killing method and leaves signs which help us to identify the culprit. Only in this way can it be established if there's a problem predator and, if so, which species and how to deal with it. Tabang explains the various methods of non-lethal predator control and livestock management. He explains how crawls can be used effectively. Yeah. <laughs> He points out that if you care for your workers, they're more likely to look after you. Properly trained guard dogs can keep livestock safe from predators. Iri di budi di botela yone bui yana itse ni mola pi akela uto ba kolbang 
e bata go hiwa dijo e bata thokomelo ya go kentiwa go tipiwa le le ruwe le bata go tipiwa ba go robane e e le khanya ditongi ba go robane ditongi di botoka ya la thata donkeys can also be used to guard livestock o tsa tongi ena magadi o e godisa le di khomotse tsa go tse a bo ruri ha tsa gore kana go e tsalang ka yone ke nna go e le gore di khomotse a go di a tsala gore ha di bolla di bolle tso theditsa mail yone jaga le ditongi le gore ke sosele gore sena le mate bile se khona go itwela ga se ganjwe ka ithala tong kana e jeo a ke re la itse ba tsedibang e this information goes a long way towards helping communities to coexist with predators in Botswana, thus ensuring the protection of endangered species such as the cheetah.